Welcome to the Journey Book Tutorial Series. Today, I will be showing you how to add, edit, and remove a picture box from your custom journey book. To add a picture box to your custom journey book, select the Home button and click on the Add Picture Box button. By clicking on this button, a picture box will appear on the screen before you. Now that you have a picture box on your page, you can use the tools located in the top toolbar to edit your picture box. For example, we can apply a border by clicking on the border button, turning the border on by selecting the sliding bar, and adjusting the border size, the corner size, and the color. If you wish to turn the border off, simply click on the sliding bar. To return to the toolbar, we can select the red back arrow. Next, we will look at applying a shadow. To apply a shadow, click on the shadow button and turn the shadow on using the sliding bar. Now you can adjust the color, size, angle, opacity, blur, and offset of the shadow. To return to the toolbar, click on the red arrow. To apply a mask to your picture box, select the mask button and drag the mask you wish to apply into the photo box. To remove the applied mask, click on the red box with the line through it. To return to the toolbar, click on Picture Options. To change the orientation of your picture box, click on the Orientation button. Using the sliding bar, you can change the orientation, or you can put the degrees in manually. Alternatively, you can rotate the box in increments of 45 degrees, using the rotate box button. To return to the toolbar, click on the red back arrow. To change the shape of your picture box, click on the shape button. The standard picture box is a square, however you can select the oval button, or alternatively you can round the corners by playing with the sliding bar to change the corner size. By selecting the Constrain Proportions button, you will constrain the proportions of your box as you increase and decrease the size. This means that the height and width will be proportionate to one another. To return to the toolbar, select the red back arrow. Now we will look at changing the size and position. Size and position can be changed by changing the numbers within these boxes. So for example, I would like to make a square box and so I will make the width four inches. Now if I were to select the constrain proportions button similar to the previous tool when I increase the size of my photo box the height and width will increase proportion to one another. If I were to unselect this button I would be able to make my picture box wider without making it taller or make it taller without making it wider. Choosing whether to constrain or not to constrain your proportions is a personal preference. In addition to the height and width, you can also change the positioning of your picture box. This can be done both by putting in numbers to these boxes or by moving the picture around with your mouse or with the arrows. You can also select whether you would like to see your proportions in inches, millimeters, or centimeters. To return to the toolbar, select the red back arrow. To align your picture box to the page or to the spread, click on the align box. Now if I were to move my photo box out of alignment, I could now align it vertically horizontally by clicking on the align vertical and align horizontal. If I wanted my picture box to be in the middle of the spread, which means in the middle of these two pages, I would click on the spread button and it would put it right in the middle for me. To return to the toolbar, click on the red back arrow. The arrange tool is useful when you have multiple objects on the page and want them to be overlapping. For example, if I were to add another picture box to the page and I wanted this picture box to appear in front of the larger picture box already on the page, I would click Arrange and I would click To Front. 
This ensures that the smaller picture box will appear in front of the larger picture box. If I wanted to reverse that order and ensure that the larger picture box is in front, I would click on to front. To return to the toolbar, click on the red back arrow. The final tool I can use to edit my pictures is the fit tool. This tool is useful if you wish to fit your picture box to the page or to the spread. To remove a picture box from the page, you have two options. Firstly, you can select the picture box you wish to remove and click on the backspace, or you can select the picture box you wish to remove and click on the delete button in this edit toolbar. Thanks for watching.